I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. And today's topic is re-entry. Um, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus recovering from COVID and uh, personal tragedies and um, I'm back and uh, I just wanted to talk about how how uh, disorienting this is um, and how disoriented I feel having been in bed for more than a week. And anyway, um, it should be an interesting conversation, but before we get started, let's take a minute to get present. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it. And imagine clean, crisp oxygen flooding your lungs, floating into your bloodstream, nourishing all your cells, all your organs, bringing vital life energy to your body and being. And as you exhale, exhale any tension, stress, negativity, fatigue. And now take another deep breath in through your nose and hold it. This time, imagine brilliant, bright light lighting you up from the inside out, illuminating, electrifying, energizing all your electrons, all your molecules, all your cells, and creating this brilliant, bright light from the inside out. And as you exhale, exhale any remaining stress, tension, negativity, fatigue. And now let's just gently press our palms together Softly, softly, softly rub your fingers against your palms to feel the deliciousness of that sensation and the tickling and the tingling and allow yourselves to become present right here, right now in these magnificent bodies that allow us to experience life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I've missed you and um, it's been a, such an odyssey. <clears throat> so um, I've been sick with COVID and sleeping more than I think I've slept in years, which is a good thing because I was having sleeping problems for a while before, before I got sick. So now I've been catching up on all that, which is pretty wonderful. Um, and the thing is that um, when you go through an illness uh, and are sleeping a lot and in bed a lot and not using your body, um, being, trying to activate it again is kind of, for me anyway, right now, pretty disorienting. I feel like I'm not really in my body and, and um You know, like, like uh, I've sort of fallen out of step with life somehow, you know, like the, the familiar rhythms of life that um, we take for granted, you know, that, that uh, one day follows the next and Things, things have a continuity to them that we that we assume and um, that we would truly take for granted that we we presume that life goes on and and things are predictable and and uh, in a certain respect, while things are constantly changing, they remain unchanged some, somehow, you know, like the, the familiarity, the pace, the rhythm. And um, tragedy and illness disrupt those patterns. And um, I don't know if you've experienced this sense of disorientation, 
but um, I have to say right now, I'm feeling pretty disoriented. And um, trying to navigate the different physical sensations of, of getting reoriented back in a mobile form. And um, also the the grief and loss of Maggie. And uh, now some technical difficulties happening here on um, Restream. So I'm not seeing your chat. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to how to correct that right now. So um, I'm trying to navigate that also. So bear with me here. I'm going to see if I can sign in and and um, get connected with you guys. Just have a little patience with me here. I'm trying to find some passwords so that I can sign in here. Um, here we go. This might work. Let's see. And I we'll hope so. Let's see if that works. Oh, now, you know, these um, proof of human where you have to click all these images for traffic lights and motorcycles now and stairs. <laughs> this is just crazy. Trying to just be able to chat with you guys. Hang in there, we might be on our way. Let's see. And this is crazy. I'm, I, I'm through like my fourth screen now. This is just nuts. Okay, <laughs> now we're on to tractors. <laughs> and okay please try again vehicles I'm so sorry about this guys this is just really annoying okay finally it says it's ready for new messages so I guess I passed the human test even though I'm feeling a little bit less than human at the moment. Anyway, um, if you send chat messages now, they should come through. So the things that, you know, normalcy is so fleeting and we don't even realize it, right? We assume normalcy, we assume continuity, we assume that um, life is predictable, right? In a way, we make those assumptions and, um, and then life, you know, we, what is it, how does it go? Uh, man plans and God laughs. So when we get, we get, um, smug, about about life just going on and we've got it all handled and then all of a sudden we get thrown for a loop and um i i think you know and I, I see a gift in these moments of disruption because it gives us an opportunity to recalibrate to um, 
to experience things anew, to um, gain a new perspective, to hopefully come to a place of new appreciation for the gifts that we do have and and um, to see to see things from different vantage points and and to not take things so readily for granted right so I'm, I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if you guys are here or not here. It would be great if you could chime in if you are. Um, yeah, so about Maggie, um, Maggie was here on borrowed time. She flew away um, in July and I was very graced to get her back. And, um, hey, Rosalind, I see, I see that you just popped up on Facebook, but you're not pop popping up on, you didn't pop up on, um, restream so i appreciate you popping in but i'm not i i don't know why i'm not seeing the comments in restream um restream oh, so i appreciate you Sorry. popping in but i'm not i, I don't know ah uh, here we go so here you are i see you guys Thank you. Um, I'm I'm gonna just watch the chat in in Facebook. So thank you. I see you guys. Good morning, Bernadette and Roslyn and Dennis. Thank you so much. Dennis, thank you. Um, and hi, Julie. And um, click on the tiles with all the traffic lights. I don't know. Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. Oh boy. Um, anyway, so I uh, I guess I feel like I've been run over by a Mack truck. And I know you guys have had times where you've felt that way too. Um, but about Maggie, I feel really graced to have had the extra time with her that I had. Um, and to have been able to share her with you guys and so I have this cat who is just the most remarkable creature on the planet and um hi Maribel thank you so much for being here um and she's the most generous soul and her name is Jewel and Jewel has been a very long suffering sweet 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 soul um i got her and her brother from the same shelter it was a foster home actually and um they were within a week of each other <sighs> and his name was brickle and i adored him too and he i was his human and he was very jealous and possessive of me. So if I would show love to Jewel, he'd beat her up. And so poor Jewel got bullied for years. And finally, finally, Brickle died. He died young. He died at 11, 10 or 11. 
And um, usually my cats live to like 18 years old, but he gave her the grace of dying young so that she could be an only cat. And she forbade me to have any other pets, no more cats, no dogs. And she just, she, she wanted to have her time and she deserved it and she blossomed. It was just so special to see how, how delighted she became to, to be the, the focus of love and attention, which she so deeply, deeply deserved. And um, then in January, or a little before January, I guess around Christmas, I met Maggie online and I asked Jewel if I could have Maggie. And she gave me permission to have Maggie. And I, it was such a profound gift because Maggie tortured her relentlessly. <laughs> Maggie bullied her and picked on her and stole her food and bit her tail and chased her off her spots and, and um, just relentlessly um, picked on, on her. And <coughs> when, um, when Maggie flew away, Jewel had a reprieve and it was amazing how quiet it was here and then Maggie came back and Jewel was so gracious and um then then I got sick and um I Maggie was biting me and I put her in her cage and she didn't want to be in her cage and she flailed about and flailed about and broke her neck. And what I've come to believe is that that was, that was Maggie's borrowed time. And, you know, it's interesting because I got Maggie because of COVID, because uh, the person who gave her to me was the brother of her owner and he died of COVID. And so um, his brother who became my friend was looking for a home for her and um, she was rehomed to me. And I think, I think it's true that I would not have been able to get the rest that I so desperately needed to recover from COVID if Maggie had been alive because she was so constant. She was such a constant energy, such a constant um, presence. And, and uh, she really never rested. <laughs> And I, I don't know that I would have been able to sleep for the days and days that I have. And again, I'm so sorry, I'm not seeing your comments. So um, I apologize for not being able to respond to you. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's rationalization or justification. We try to make sense out of these things, you know, but Maggie was such a blessing to all of us. And she brought so much, so much joy. And um, she, she will live on. I'm um, I'm making a series of NFTs that are 
will be a memorial to her and she she will have a powerful legacy and um life is just so strange right it's just so strange Anyway, so uh, I'm so grateful to have this community to connect with and to process through and to find, find my way back into the land of the living. Um, it's awkward as hell. And uh, just taking one step at a time. And uh, I just want to thank you. And thank you for your love for, for me and for Maggie and for Jewel. <laughs> and uh, And I have so much compassion for all that you all have gone through. And and the experiences of life that have been derailing for you and disorienting and from which you crawled and sometimes clawed your way back. And um, it's not how many times we fall down, it's how many times we get back up, right? So life is generous in that way. To allow us to keep, to keep clawing our way back. So I, th I think I'll call it a morning and thank you for welcoming me back into your gracious and loving arms. Hopefully I'll see you back here again real soon. Lots of love.